Well, hello there, Internet. Welcome to my channel. Or to my 31 subscribers, welcome back to my channel. You always steal the show, don't you, Miss Chai? Ow. Okay, so if you watched my last video, I went to Dry Bar in Atlanta. That's a hair salon that just does blowouts. They do like very fancy blowouts. Oh, I just realized this is in the shot. Wow. Anyway, I really liked my experience, but it was $55. So today, I'm gonna recreate it at home. Hopefully, let's see how this goes. I'm already kind of dreading it because I know it's gonna take five ever. I'm gonna use two main resources for recreating this look. I'm gonna use my own memories from my dry bar experience. However, it was like almost a month ago now. So, I also am going to use Dry Bar's own YouTube channel. Yes, they have a whole channel with uh, DIYs on how to do their styles at home. And at first you're like, why, why would they have their own videos to teach you? Don't they want you to go into the salon and get their professional blowout? Yes, but Dry Bar also sells its own products. So uh, if you buy their products and then you follow their DIY, I mean, the synergy is just, come on. However, uh, I'm not gonna use their products. I'm just gonna use what I have lying around the house. It's gonna be great. The first step is to start with super clean hair. So guess what? Bam, I've already washed my hair. It's been sitting in that towel now for about 40, almost an hour, like seven minutes short of an hour. Oop, I burped there. So I got the Mai Tai style. So that's the video we're gonna follow, the DIY Mai Tai. Let's see, she starts with what we need. Okay, here's what I have. My hold me hair clips, which are just, just alligator clips, you know, whatever. My blow dryer, my round brush, my Thai spritzer, which is just sea salt spray, my hairspray, they call it the sheriff. That's kind of a cute name, but. And my triple sec finishing spray, woohoo. Okay, side note for the last item, the curling iron. I think on half of my hair, I am gonna use my, my Kristen S one inch or 1.25 inch curling iron. This was $50 at Target. But for the sake of science, I, I did buy the dry bar three day bender. Don't worry, I didn't spend $145 on it. I bought it for $50 off of eBay. I thought it was important to get because this is a normal curling iron. The normal clamp, whatever. This guy is kind of gimmicky. See this clamp, it rotates, spins around. So you're supposed to like put it in your hair and then spin it around and somehow not get it super tangled. So I thought they were different enough that maybe I should get this to recreate the look. We'll do two sides and compare. Also, side note, if you add up all the products she listed on the video, it comes to $470. Like, the Mai Tai Spritzer is $25, and that's... <laughs> that's cheaper than the hairbrush. The hairbrush is $36. I'm just gonna tell you right now that all this stuff I bought was like less than $8. Actually, I think most of it was only $6. Oh, and one more side note. When I went to the salon, she did use heat protection on my hair, but in the video, she doesn't use any, and I don't really use any in real life either. I know, I'm sorry, don't come for me. I just, uh, I find heat protection makes my hair really greasy, and then I stopped using it, and it still did the same thing. Also, if you wanna fall down a rabbit hole, uh, the YouTuber Mila Boo, I'll link her down below, she does a whole scientific experiment with heat protection and basically found out that it's like bad for your hair. Anyways, moving on. Okay, let's start our process. I am so nervous. Step one, wash your hair. Done, did it. Now I gotta rough dry my hair to remove some of the moisture. She's still very wet. <sighs> Falling over. I hate blow drying my hair and this is gonna take a while. Okay, that actually did not take as long as I thought it would. So step two is to section out your hair. She does like the front half. 
She also has a lot less hair than I do. Okay, so now you're supposed to like round brush with the hair dryer, you know, this kind of business. I'm not very good at that though. I'm gonna try my best, but if all else fails, I do have my Revlon two-in-one hair dryer brush, round brush hair dryer thing. I don't know, this was $60 at Target and another quality purchase. This thing is fantastic, highly recommend. Oh God, I already hate this. So there they got like a really good curl out of it. Like she would even like unwind it. Hi Chai, come to watch me struggle? It's not looking great, friends. I might abandon this brush earlier than I thought. Oh God, nope. She's stuck. Oh God. That's why I don't trust round brushes. Okay, we're gonna abandon this for now. Maybe we'll revisit it and uh, bring out Old Faithful here. Thank you, Revlon. It's not quite the desired look we're going for. I want like a full curl, but this ain't dry bar, so. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that's amazing. I got a real fair flip going there. Oh. Okay, quick update. I have so much hair. I just found a whole section that was still pretty wet and so I'm like, I have to dry with this and then curl it with this and I'm not getting every section and it is, oh, it's just so annoying. I have so much hair, so much hair. I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't complain because I have like lots of people that I've loved to have like thick, beautiful hair. Y'all, it's just hard. I hate styling my hair. Okay, back to work. Okay, for this last top little section, she doesn't do it in the video, but I remember at the salon, they like dried it and then put it up in like a big curl to create some volume. So we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna kinda, oh, we can do this. Brat Mondo does this much better than I do. It's a little deer turd on my head. My arms hurt so bad. Okay, I will say, I think I achieved the dry bar look with like these three pieces. What do you think, Chai? Think I'm right? They're like this nice feathery look. And then with my bangs. I would say that, that is the dry bar look. Everything else, not so much. Let's try and uh, touch it up a little bit and then we'll move on. Okay, we've had a wardrobe change because uh, I got too hot and this is my hair all dried. Um, I would say dry bar wins this round. They win the blow drying round because uh, even though I got some feathery looks, I didn't get a whole lot of volume like they did and I didn't get like a full curl in the hair. Like they curled my hair with the blow dryer and I'm just not skilled enough for that, I guess. Let's move on. Plug in our little beauties. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do this side with the dry bar three day bender just because it's less hair and I have less experience with this. So that'll be easier. And then I'll do this side with my just normal curling iron. So we're gonna turn this to 360 just because I used 365 on this one, so why not match it? I do like, you can get very precise with this. It goes up in 10 minute increments. So like very precise, I guess. So she takes one inch sections 
and then she says she only leaves the iron in for a few seconds but when I got my hair done she was very methodical she was not like loose and messy like the video says to be she definitely left it in for more than a few seconds also she took the iron and she like straightened the roots just by like oh she was so good at it so like if I had a little bit like curly kinky all the way up the root she would just take the curling iron and smooth it out a little bit I'm so nervous okay here we go you're supposed to start at the top Oh, oh, see that? That's it. And then you're supposed to tug it as soon as it uncurls. I want the end a little bit straighter, so I'm just gonna straighten it with this. Ow, don't worry, just burning myself, it's fine. Oh, that was the wrong direction, oh well. So far, this thing is kind of just hard to use and kind of gimmicky, but I'll keep trying. Okay, so my hair either keeps getting stuck in like the gap here, like it spins around and gets stuck, stuck in the gap, or the clamp isn't holding it in and it just kind of falls out of the hair. Let me try and show you my problems. So if you try and take more than a one inch section, it's gonna not be able to fit around the barrel. See, it's getting caught down in here. Or it's just, see, I'm stuck. That didn't do anything. Ugh. So you gotta take really small sections. I'm gonna keep going, check back in later. So I think I see why she says only leave it in your hair for a few seconds, because it'll only stay in my hair for a few seconds. See, after the first wrap around, the hair gets kinda loose, so you have to like pull it to tighten it. Yeah, okay, that was a good one. She did like flatten the ends like that. See, I think this is a good one, yeah. Maybe it just takes practice. See that? It just fell. I'm not going back over it. Okay, that was a good one. Well, or, or not. <laughs> There's so much hair on, wrapped around this. Ugh. I mean, it's fine. Pull out my hair as much as you want. I got too much of it anyway. Now in the video for the back of your hair, she's like, use a mirror. Pfft, ain't nobody got time for that. I think I just need more practice with this. Styling your hair in any way. Practice makes perfect. So this side is done. We're gonna switch to this side with Kristen S. Wish me luck. <sighs> so much hair. I really like the look of this little baby one right there. That's a good one. Bring it all the way down. Curl it up. And then slide it off. I think it looks like the video, but I don't think it really necessarily looks like the other side. Trial and error, trial and error. All right, they're looking very different. Here, let's compare. Here, Maddie, insert a picture of you coming out of dry bar. I think I like this side more than this side. Update, I'm just gonna show y'all that with my Kristen S, I can take larger sections. Like, I can fit this whole section in. That's a that's more than one inch. It's a nice fat section. And that's the result. Whereas this guy, okay, let's, let's, oh, it just fell out. But the problem I keep running into with the, with this one is that I just get a curl like you can see here, it's like slightly wavy and then really curly at the bottom. And that's because it, the 
the clamp can't hold this hair, it just falls out. And so you get a curl at the bottom. Whereas here, I can start the curl so much higher. Also, these are doing the, the classic all curl together. So you gotta like constantly, ugh. Okay, so I'm just gonna look at the pictures of myself when I first got out of the dry bar. So I have kind of like big curl right in the middle section of my hair. I would say right here is where the big curl is. So uh, I would say neither of these look much like the dry bar one. Oh, that's so pretty. I would say I have like one, two, like two big swirls in my hair. I don't really see that on here. I see like nice and soft and then curl. Okay, so looking back, I will say using the dry bar curling iron, did give me a more similar result to my dry bar blowout. However, I found my Kristen S styling one so much easier to use and I still really like the effect. And it's kind of like floofy now, but I think the curls will kind of fade and look nice after they calm down a little bit. Sorry, I'm zooming so in and out on this video. I just want you to be able to see my hair. In this video I watch, I mean, I might be crazy, but I think her hair looks more like this side than this side. Am I crazy? Leave a comment down below. Which side do you like better? The smaller side of Dry Bar's curling iron or the larger side using my Kristen S curling iron? Dry Bar, Kristen S. These were both $50. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay more than 50. Get it from eBay. So she puts the product in her hair. Let's do that. We gotta spray it down with our hairspray. I'm just using Aussie hairspray, even though I don't like the smell of it. Oh, reminds me of high school. Okay, and then my Thai spritzer, which I'm gonna use my sea salt spray. I don't see what putting this on after my hairspray is gonna do. And then lastly, she does the triple sec, the finishing spray underneath her hair. This is the first time I've used finishing spray. Not really sure what it's supposed to do. Oh, oh, it comes out. Oh, it is a strong smell too. Kind of like it though. Makes me feel like a professional hairstylist. Oh, I inhaled some. It's a lot of product. See that? That? That does not look good. We're gonna touch it up. They're trimming trees outside so it's loud. After putting the product in, this side keeps falling. Okay, after some deliberation, here are my final thoughts. One, spending $55 at Dry Bar was 100% worth it. The stylist obviously had much more experience than I have. She definitely did a fantastic job at blow drying and curling it. And when I look back at the pictures, I love the way it looks. And uh, I didn't have to do it myself. I could watch YouTube on my phone the entire time, you know? That being said, if you are gonna do this at home, I do think it is somewhat achievable. I wouldn't buy this for $145 because it is kind of gimmicky and I think I created pretty much the same effect with this. Right now with just this, I don't think it turned out anything like my blowout. <laughs> And the more product I put in it, the more the curls kind of just faltered. So if you're at home and all you've got is your regular curling iron, it 100% works. I really like this side and it was so much easier to do, so much easier to manage. So in short, if you have a dry bar close to you, 100% recommend. Go try it out, treat yourself. If you wanna recreate your look at home, don't buy all their products, just use what you got. This worked just fine, I didn't really need this. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Like this video if you get frustrated doing your hair. Uh, like this video if you like cats. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and maybe I'll make another video. Whoa, glamour shot. <gasps> My type beachy. No lie though, I really like this side. Looks really good. Look at this, it's kind of poo poo. Okay, bye. Okay, so it's the end of the day and I don't know about y'all, but these curls look the same to me. Like these ones slowly 
chilled out and became more like these. Okay, it's one day after uh, doing my hair. And look, she's got good body and volume, but the curls, the curls did not last. Yeah, that's Florida humidity for you. Thanks, Florida. Okay, so this is the uh, after curling day two hair. I would say both sides held up the same. They both got frizzy and lost curl. This, I would say the same amount. And uh, I touched it up with this. Yeah, I didn't even, didn't even plug this one in. Oops, just couldn't hack it. I will practice with it, I promise. It just, it just, but I think my day two hair looks pretty good. Yeah, also I am in love with this finishing spray. Highly recommend a finishing spray. 